Hey, Devondre, I was just wondering if you could uh, talk a little bit about this Rams offense, which has been up and down, and what your guys' thoughts are about this game Sunday and the importance of it. Uh, the Rams have an explosive offense. Um, Jared Goff is, is playing really well right now, you know, so we just have to 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 take it one game at a time at this point, I feel like. Um, they're, they're a very good football team and their record shows that. So we can't, you know, worry about like how streaky they can be. We know like when they're clicking, they're a really good football team. So we just have to prepare as such, you know, every game matters and every game has mattered. But the, the good thing about it is everything we want to accomplish is still right in front of us. So we just have to, to forget about everything that's happened up until this point and focus on what's ahead of us. Next up, Darren Urban, Catherine Fitzgerald, Kent Summers. Hey, Devondre. Um, at this point in the season with what you guys have been through as a unit in terms of the injuries up front, you've had injuries in the secondary, obviously you dealt with something. How do you feel like this defense has held up? And obviously you guys had a very nice performance in New England. Um, are, are you guys, are you guys at your ceiling given everything you've been through, or do you feel like there's still more that this defense can accomplish? We haven't played a complete game all season, and we still have everything we want right in front of us. So in terms of saying, have we reached our ceiling? No, we, we, we haven't even, we're not close. We haven't played a complete game yet. But like I said, everything we want is right in front of us. And I've been in a situation like this before where, you have to win out to make the playoffs. So it's possible. And like I said, we haven't played a complete game yet. And here we are still in the driver's seat. You know, everything we want is right there. We just have to focus on one day at a time. We're not worried about two or three weeks from now. We're worried about the Rams and we'll go from there. Hey, Devondre, with um, working from home today and yesterday, I know you guys did that for a bunch of the off season as well. Is there, does it feel any different at this point in the season when, you know, you have a game coming up, there's that sense of urgency to have that remote aspect versus times during the summer? Um, no, I, th I think the biggest thing about this year is I understand that you have to, to be flexible. This year is different than any year I, I've ever been a part of and Everybody understands that. So, you know, yes, things are gonna pop up that are unexpected, but as a professional, you have to be prepared to adjust. And I think as a team, we've done a really good job of that this year. And we just have to continue to, to keep it like that going forward. Devondre, you mentioned you've, you've been through this before. Is, is December football different and for a team to successfully navigate these last five weeks, what who, what does a team have to do to emerge from the pack a little bit? Uh, like I said, you have to you have to take it one day at a time. You know, like December football is where playoff football starts, and that's where you separate yourself. You know, we have six games left, and this is where you separate yourself. Either you want it or you don't, and that's where you find out in December. And the beautiful thing about it is we control that. Like, it's not in anybody else's hands. Like, we control our destiny. And uh, the thing I know about the playoffs is once you make it in, it doesn't matter what your record was in the regular season. All that matters is who plays the best that day. Everybody's 0-0. Zero, zero, and that's the beautiful thing about it. So I'm very comfortable right now because I know we control our own destiny. And... As long as we handle business as we should, we have nothing to worry about. Next up, Bob McManaman, Kyle Odegaard, Howard Balzer. Calvin, you talked about how the defense hasn't reached its ceiling. And I know Cliff and Kyler have often spoken about how the offense is still trying to get there too. That being said, you've seen your offense make some great things happen over portions of this season, kind of a little stagnant lately. What's your confidence level in, in the offense, picking it back up and, and kind of carrying, helping carrying you into the playoffs? I'm very confident in my guys. You know, like we come to work every day to be the best. And 
you know, this is the best, the best things are going to happen. Sometimes you're going to stumble and it's, it's not about what happens in that moment. Only thing that matters now is how, how we, how we react and how we come back, how we respond to this game. Yes, it was a tough loss, but we can't worry about it. Great teams don't do that. You can't let situations like that affect you, you know, because there's still a lot of football left. And like I said, December is where it matters. Every game from this point on is a playoff game to us, and we have to approach it as such. Like you said, there's so much focus on, on playing well down the stretch. And you look at Denver and, and Baltimore and them getting so hit hard by COVID, especially the quarterback situation. Is that ever in the back of your mind? Like, man, I hope we don't get wiped out for a game that, that is really important down the stretch. I mean, you, you, you can't control things like that, you know? So like, I don't, I don't let it bother me because that's not something I can control. The only thing I can control is being flexible, like I mentioned earlier. And if that's the cards we end up being dealt, then you have to deal with it as such. But is it something that you you want to happen? No, but it's a it's a possibility that it can happen. This is a very weird year, and you just have to be prepared for whatever. Do you have any uh, plans, DeAndre, for? Uh, the whole my cleats, my cause uh, thing going on in the NFL this week? No, I don't. All right, we'll wrap it up with Darren Urban. Devondre, with, uh, with as many injuries as you guys have suffered up front, has that changed uh, in general what you guys uh, in, the, in the middle group there with the linebackers have, that you've done lately, or does that put any more – on your guys' shoulders, just kind of dealing with everybody who's not there? No, um, you know, this is pro ball. You you have to have the next man up mentality. The the guy behind just has to be just as ready as a starter because, you know, and especially, like I said, this year more than anything, anything can happen. As you've seen, like with the COVID protocols, things can get hectic and it can happen fast. So. We can't use an excuse of guys being hurt for, you know, some of the mishaps we've had. We just have to make it happen. And that's what good teams do. You don't make excuses. You make it happen one way or another. And we have a really good football team. We have a lot of great guys in our locker room. We have really good coaches. So there is no reason why we, we can't make it happen. You know, it's all on us.